everyone, it's Carla from Casey Creates. I have all of my journals um, compiled and I want to show you volumes one and two. These are all the pages that were gifted to me for my birthday challenge and um, I'm going to do them in three videos. I've done uh, volume five all by itself and then I'm going to do one and two in one video and three and four in the next video. So this is the box I created for volumes one through four. I tried to keep them all about the same size so they would fit in this box. I don't even remember what this box was. I think it was a box where I had clay in, but I covered it with some shabby um, paper and then tied it with this pretty ribbon. So I'm just gonna untie this. And this whole set with number with volume five, volume five will just sit right on top like this. Will be sitting on my um, crafting table. So I'm so excited that I've got it all neatly packaged, so I can just grab the journals out and use them. And I do plan to use them. So I want to take you through volume one in this video. And let's start with the back. It's just got vintage craft uh, scrapbook paper and then the year. And then this is the spine. And on the spine, I have a little snippet that was gifted to me from Janine from Vintage Shabby Chic. And this just says Friendship Journal Volume 1. And then these are beautiful little photos that are um, were gifted to me from Olivia. Olivia was one of my challenge winners. Thank you, Olivia. This is so, these are such great images. And then I just used the theme with that green color. Some of this green was in with Janine's um, challenge entry. And then I had the polka dot scrapbook paper. And I decided to just make it a pocket in the front. And then I have these three vintage buttons. And in the beginning of each journal, there will be, um, a list of whose page is um, in here. It just says Crafty Friends. And then I was gifted this gorgeous page from Karen Billinger and I love how she did so much color. I'm just so happy to have things created in everyone's style. She did a little bit of texture paste here, paste here and a beautiful beaded butterfly and then all these layers of um, beautiful colorful flowers. I think this is a decoupage napkin. I just love how the two blend so well. And then there's a really nice um, reading about friendship. And then on the back, I will repeat in this video, I didn't stick everyone's tags in, um, but I do have all of them in an embellishment box because I was wanting to make sure my journals would close. So this is a beautiful pocket with layered doilies. So that's Karen's page. This is Sarah's from Sarah's Shabby um, Sheet Creations. And I loved this little pillowed tag she made for me. And then she did this really creative um, type quilted fabric that I believe she said she learned from Colette from Col with Creative creations I believe um, anyway she used that technique and sewed all these little bits of scrap fabric into a quilted page which just looks beautiful it was very effective and then she also gifted me tags and journals but I really loved this one with the music notes and then inside there's all these cute little snippets and flips so I wanted to make sure I kept that in and then she's got clusters of buttons so I'm really happy to have an entry from Sarah and then the next page is from the lovely Debbie Vignola she just does everything so she hand crafts everything so beautifully um, and this is a is it Stamperia no graphic 45 beautiful floral paper beautiful tag I love her little trims the little um, 
bows. There's just so many sweet elements that I'll be able to really enjoy looking looking at. I'm trying to see where that piece of paper is that I'm oh, there it is. I made myself a little cheat sheet of people that I don't want to forget. Um, okay, so then this is the back of Debbie's. Now I will say, you guys, your pages are gorgeous, and I apologize. I did have some trouble attaching some of my pages because my sewing machine is such a relic. The needle wouldn't go through some of them, so I had to use this muslin fabric. It wasn't very attractive. So I'm going to go back and add a pretty lace over that. But this is the back of Debbie's, and then she also gave me this gorgeous little notebook for journaling and there's tags in the front and the back so I love my page from Debbie this is my gorgeous page from Janine I did a video on hers but I'm just in love with all the details you remember the tiny little journal that she um, inserted down in this little pocket and then this was a zip she said that she just opened and um, embellished with really beautiful trims. And I believe that's Marie Antoinette, but she framed her face and just added all these wonderful little um, decorative embellishments to look at, which is so gorgeous. And then on this page, she's got this gorgeous envelope. It flips open. I can move this over. I could journal on here if I wanted to. I can add some tea dyed paper if I wanted. This gorgeous um, cluster of laces and snippets. So that's Janine from Vintage Shabby Chic. I love, love, love this. This um, was gifted to me from Sonia Frisks. And I love that she used the fairy theme. That was just so special. And she had wonderful tags. And there are more. But like I said, I wasn't able to fit every tag in the journal. But as I use them and write on them, I can actually refill. That's how much you guys blessed me with things. And she's written Sonia Frisks in her, the year. And I love all these secret little flips that everybody tucked in. And then the back of hers, there's more tags, as you can see. She just puts so much beautiful um, detail into this page. There's layers of lace and trim. So I definitely love this one. I love them all. You know how a parent always says, we don't have a favorite, we just have favorite things about each child. Well, that's exactly how I feel. Because I don't want anyone to think anyone's is more gorgeous than the other. They all just have so many things that are special. This one is created by Kim from the uh, Vintage Rose Creations. And she did a beautiful pocket here. I love the color theme. Um, this is an, another little pocket. And there's tags in here. She used um, vellum and paper doily and I forgot what she called these little dots but they're like textured there's some ephemera here that I love this covered button um, vintage covered button it's a little tab again there's a beautiful little brass piece there I think this might be a collar piece but I've done videos on all of their individual pages but I just wanted you to see all of them put together this is from i just love the the colors from edwina edwina kench you all know edwina she did beautiful uh glassine bags filled with tags she gave me a beautiful journal <laughs> this is an awesome image and i love the colors and then in the back there's this wonderful pocket this is handmade by Edwina. And then this is one of the little envelope journals that she made for me. It's just got beautiful, beautiful details, tags, and just gorgeous. 
So this is um, Friendship Journal number one, volume one, that represents some of my crafting friends. And this is Friendship Journal. Oh, and I just want to show you that beautiful dangle on Kim's, the, the, the pearls. I love that. And then this is Friendship Journal number two. And I shabbied this one up. This is the back. This is some Prima. I think it's Prima paper. Anyway, 2019. I put some crocheted lace around the edge. This is the spine. And it has got lots of pink um, rayon seam binding, which I love. Some vintage lace that I avocado dyed. And a little snippet piece here. Eyelet lace and a little bit of trim and then this cover I love this because friends come in all ages and these are slightly older ladies not old but slightly older and they just have on their hats and coats and look like they might be waiting on the bus or something but I love it, it says friendship I've got some avocado dyed doily and lace trim and a little snippet with a glass button and so this one opens up to tell you who is in this volume. And these are my crafty friends in this one. Michelle Becuera, Jeannie Dreamers, Shabby Mini Picante, Lilla, Uniquely Yours by Don Marie, Crafted Seasons, which is Shaz, Crafty Stuff, which is Debbie, Creative Crafts Closet, which is Jane Marge, Forever Purple Creations, Laurel, and Angie Paisy. And I have to say, of all of the videos, I really regret that I did a double video with Michelle and um, Jane Marge because I don't want anyone to feel slighted so Michelle just so you know your video was included in another one and as soon as I did that I thought no I'm gonna give everyone their individual videos so I apologize that yours was the only one that wasn't an individual video um, it doesn't make it any less valuable to me I absolutely love this saying there is beauty and simplicity because you sent me such a beautiful simple page but it just makes such a strong statement i absolutely love this paper and then she stuck in this really pretty tag and it's just created so simply but so well and, and it's one of my favorites for sure for that reason of course seems like i should be able to slide that right back in there but i can't because the camera is rolling. We know how that goes. Okay, so this is Michelle's page. And then I did something kind of interesting. Those that were plain on the back, I decided to stick back to back so I'd have more journaling space. So this is from the lovely Jeannie Dreamer. Her VR cracked me up. <laughs> You'll have to go back and watch her VR for this. It's hilarious, but I love that you did stitching. I really love this delicate trim that you used got really nice tags and a really cool textured clock face that she probably embossed but Jeannie's flips open let me see if I can move this over there we go and then here is the back side of her page very vintage I love the clocks and the the advertisements and that she put took time to put teeny little stickles around the mirror that's really cool and then this is the other side of Michelle's page so I have all this journaling space some from Jeannie's and some from Michelle's and then the next page um, is hold on a second is from shabby Monique Bricante which is Monique and Monique did these beautiful pinks Monique actually was first place winner in my challenge and I love, love, love. Oh, this is Jeannie's actually. Jeannie does, does these envelopes where you can journal or write your note right in the middle. So I that didn't go with the actual page she created, but I just love the paper line. So I wanted to keep that in there. And then this is <clears throat> Monique's page. So beautiful. I love the raw edge 
um, bows and collaging that she did here in this beautiful tuck spot that she sewed in. And then on the back there's this beautiful paper that is made with wallpaper. It's like flocking. And so she gifted me several tags, but I wanted to keep a few of them in here. And then this is more collaging. This flips up into a tablet of beautiful pink dyed paper. Lots of journaling space. This little envelope unties. And I love the paper embellishments. So those were gorgeous pages from Monique. Shabby Monique Bricante. So um, the next one was from Lilla. And Lilla is all the way from Hawaii. I love her work. It's kind of grungy and Victorian and um, shabby all at the same time. But I love the glassine bag. And she stuck so many little tags and journaling tickets. And you can go back and check out Lilla's channel. She has, I believe it's an Etsy shop. But she does sell her work. It's gorgeous. There's this beautiful little cluster of handmade flowers here in the corner. And then this beautiful nature picture. She used a lot of nature on her original page. So thank you, Lila. I love that. This is from my friend Don Marie, my Wisconsin friend. She's uniquely yours by Don Marie, and she used this gorgeous scrapbook paper friendship. And then she printed on this canvas here. It's a really pretty image. And then there's a pocket with a tag. And I have other tags too, but those are the ones I wanted to leave in. I love the colors. And this is the back of hers. And then her note, I just flipped, I just slipped back in there. But the back is just this real um, um, distressed ink over music note paper. This is a beautiful page from my friend Shaz. Hi Shaz. I absolutely love how she made this so Parisian with the stamps. And ooh la la is right. It's so gorgeous with the reds and the blacks. And it just says very French. There's a cameo here. And Shaz has an amazing way with just layering textures and making her sweet tiny little bows. There's a pocket here where she gifted me lots of tags. Be good if you could see them for journaling. And I talk about all of those in her video as well. I love the black lace trim. And then this gorgeous little notebook where in the original one I for I didn't show you this adorable tiny little journal that she made. You guys, this little band flips off. I just have to show you. Let me just do it justice. Inside there are literally tags. Can you see that? That come in, you can take them out. There's a bookmark. I mean, it is so, so cute. So I missed showing that in her um, video when I was showing her entry. So I thought I'm going to take a minute and show it to you now. And hopefully it can get it back on. There we go. Slips on perfectly. And I'm not going to ever forget it's tucked down in here. She's got other little tags and things tucked in there as well oh and then her paper beads which are so so cute and she gifted me some of those so thank you dear friend i love it this is a gorgeous page from um, debbie at crafty stuff and she made it so it ties with this beautiful vintage lace and debbie gifted me so many beautiful things including the rayon seam binding and and little die cuts and um, I'm going to use a lot of those but this opens and inside there's a little journaling notebook there were tags and the back is nice and plain but 
this was just a really pretty vintage entry. I absolutely love it. And then there was a sweet little button, heart button down there. So that's my page from Debbie at Crafty Stuff. This is a beautiful page from Jane Marge. And she did so much with the beautiful small um, floral print that I love. This is an envelope and inside her tags. And she got this beautiful um, lace little belly band, which is at Bridal Applique. And then it turns over into this gorgeous satin ribbon rose trimmed pocket. And I have tons of tags with this beautiful paper. I think this might be Tilda. It's just so pretty. It flips open. And there's more embellishments and tags and sentiments. It's just gorgeous. And the paper is just everything I love about paper. Beautiful little small floral prints. And thank you, Jane Marge, for gifting me some. It is just so wonderful to have. And then my next page is from Laurel, the Forever Purple Creations. And of course, I did a video on Laurel's too, but it's just got so much beautiful um, lace and trim and vintage -y little spots. She did this crocheted tag with the beautiful shadow um, phantom image and she's um, decoupaged on it. I love this little flower embellishment here. I don't know why they show up kind of blue in the camera but it is really beautiful purples, shades of purple. So she gifted me gorgeous tags and lace trims and and take that out. I wanted to keep some of the addresses so I can keep track of them. But there's another gorgeous one with a beautiful tag. This beautiful glitter butterfly. So this is my beautiful page from Laurel. And then last but certainly not least, my sweet, sweet friend Angie Paisy. Gorgeous pink page. I love her shabby colors and papers and the beautiful notebooks with the tea dyed paper and this lace pocket is beautiful. She muted the colors down with either paint or gesso. I love that you sewed the edges and that pretty little dangle rayon seam binding embellishment is super pretty. And then she's gifted me this inside this beautiful fold out journaling spot which is just look at how gorgeous this paper turned out so there's that spot and then the other side of the page which she says she's just starting making journal pages but you certainly can't tell but she's a very gifted crafter so <laughs> these are beautiful little tags <coughs> excuse me and bookmarks and it's just a loaded pocket full of goodies. I love all the trims that you tied your tags with. Another rayon rose and on the back space for journaling. And I haven't done much on the back of the actual journal covers yet. I may or may not but I am in love with every page in this journal in this volume and again this was friendship journal volume two and a quick flip through of this one and everybody involved thank you so much i'm gonna really cherish these i just feel so blessed that you all helped me create such a beautiful set of journals. So that's Friendship Journal Volumes 1 and 2. And I'll be back to show you Volumes 3 and 4. Thanks for watching, everybody.